Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This vlog is going to be super exciting because you're going to see all of the Christmas market, some tourist spots and some amazing food. So my friend had come over for the weekend and we headed out to do some touristy stuff on the weekend. It was a Saturday and I don't know why we always pick a Saturday to go to central London because it's always so crowded. But the weather was extremely nice. It was super, super cold. But here we are and we are heading to central London. Our plan for the day was to first go to Neil's Yard and explore the area. So this is basically Neil's Yard. There are really cute restaurants and cafes around. There's also a market which you'll be seeing soon in the vlog. And after that, we wanted to go to Convent Garden, but first, enjoy the views of Neil's Yard. And as we were exploring the area of Neil's Yard, we stumbled upon this market which is called a Seven Dials Market. And then I remembered that I had actually seen a lot of videos about this market. So it's a great place to grab some food. They have a lot of food. Bear in mind, it can get a little expensive because I saw everything starting from like 9 or 10 pounds, which is really expensive. And I'm not too sure about the quantity, but you can try it for yourself. We then headed to GDK, which is one of our favorite, which is German donut kebabs. They have really amazing food. And honestly, that day was super chill. We just ended up visiting a lot of the shops and then we went to Convent Garden. I think Convent Garden is one of the first places that actually had their decorations all set up for Christmas. So the, that was a nice vibe, especially on a Saturday, though it was a little crowded, but I'm not complaining because the vibes were immaculate. So to fully get into the Christmas vibes, we then headed out to a place that has some really amazing cookies and some nice hot piping mocha coffee. So after exploring the area, we then decided to go to the riverside and watch the London Eye from there. I honestly love London in the evening, like, you know, when it's almost night time, but it's not quite night. Honestly, it's becoming dark at like 5 p.m. over here. The sun sets at like 4.30. It's insane. But I honestly love the night vibe of London. So it's been a long day and we went to Neil's Yard and Convent Garden and I'm gonna vlog for the entire week and I have like exciting stuff planned for next weekend as well so stick around till the end of the vlog so the exploring didn't stop there on a sunday we decided to get on the tube underground tube and then we went to canary wharf this is something that is super near to where i live greenwich and i've always wanted to visit here because you can actually see canary wharf from my university and honestly it did not disappoint so we took the dlr from greenwich that is cutty sock to canary wharf and Canary Wharf is basically like the IT hub or like the business area because it kind of gives like New York vibes if that makes sense but it is super super pretty. We actually went to this rooftop garden which I've actually put up a whole reel on my Instagram so follow me there to know more details but we went to Crossrail rooftop garden. Really pretty. That's just me because I hit my head on the leaf. So we are currently at Crossrail Rooftop Garden and it's tucked away in Canary Wharf. I didn't really even know about this until I came across an Instagram reel and I was like, I definitely want to come over here. It's really peaceful. So this place is about like a three, four minute walk from the DLR station. That is the Canary Wharf DLR station. And it's really, really pretty. There's also a really cute like barbecue grill restaurant if you guys want to come over here and have lunch. But I would definitely suggest visiting this place. We've come here on a Sunday and it's not even that crowded. So I would highly suggest coming to this place. So that afternoon was again a very chill afternoon. We just ended up exploring the areas of Canary Wharf. 
we then went to this garden and as we were walking by we were actually in the search of some really nice food so we ended up going to this random mall which had like some nice korean food they also had like vietnamese food it was kind of like a food mall so we went to seoul board where we got some bibimbap i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly if i'm not please correct me in the comments but this was really amazing Up next we went to this Vietnamese street food place. They had some really amazing hot and spicy pho. This was my first time trying that and it was really good. We then ended up again exploring the area of Canary Wharf at night. Oh my god guys, I have to tell you that it is a must visit place. It's super vibey um and then we just took the DLR back home. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever but today is Wednesday I have my uni lectures and then I'm gonna be heading to the library to get some work done I have my term one assignment submission on Friday uh, for this one particular module and I also need to get started on some other work um, of course uni work so this week has been really busy because I have had work on Monday and then yesterday and today I have uni um, so yeah, it's been really busy but I had so much fun last weekend and this weekend is also going to be really fun because I am heading to Birmingham to meet a few of my friends because it's Diwali on the weekend and I'm so excited. It is going to be my first Diwali away from home so I'm a little sad about that but I'm going to spend it with amazing people on the weekend so I'm excited for that. So I need to get everything done before Friday so that I can totally enjoy the weekend and yeah, I will see you guys along the vlog. <laughs> Long. So when I came home, I made some amazing fried rice with some marinated onions and I was just catching up on some K-drama because I was so exhausted after doing that assignment. I did my skincare and the next day i again made some amazing food because i love curries and like rice it's my comfort food this was friday and here i am submitting my assignment and then saturday morning at like five o'clock i literally left for birmingham it was so early in the morning but i'm not complaining because the bus views were amazing though i had to stand in like minus two degrees uh, in the morning but the fall vibes in Birmingham were so amazing. This is actually right outside my friend's house. Um, we were just walking and heading out to grab some food and meet up with some other friends. We finally got some Indian food. We tried this kuttu paratha and um, dosa. And then after that, we were just exploring the Christmas markets. Um, we went to Birmingham city center and we were just like exploring the city center because it was literally so beautiful at night. There was also like a few rides that we went on and we grabbed some coffee. We also did a bit of shopping and that was really, really amazing evening.
हाँ तो अपन दस मिनट में पहुंच जाएगा वो देख वो तो छुप गए उसके पीछे भैया दिख रही नहीं है सरक थोड़ा So later that day all of us went out for lunch we went to Chennai dosa and since it was Diwali we decided to go to Balaji temple to seek blessing it was the perfect evening Diwali 2023 we're making some onion bhajis and what are you guys making we are making sambar rice I'm tasting this all too. <laughs> and we are playing undercover. That's Koji Anna. I'm making sambar rice. Go, get up, go. So later that night we actually had more people come over for dinner. We stayed up till 3 o'clock at night and we played games. We had South Indian food together. It wasn't the usual kind of Diwali that I spend every time with my family, but it was different and I could say that it was the perfect end to the perfect weekend. See you in the next vlog.